YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we are going to be doing a full test and review of the Zippo 4-in-1 Woodsman, so stick with me. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. Now, the Zippo 401 Woodsman is a multi-tool. That's what it's designed to be. And it comes from Zippo Outdoors, which is they've a segment of their company who has moved from just plainly lighters to survival and camping equipment. And for you guys who do not know what the Zippo 401 Woodsman is, it comes, uh, it's from the same family that is from their emergency fire starter, which is based in paraffin wax and cotton and their flint wheel. And I've done reviews on these a few years back, but I finally got my hands on the 4-in-1 Woodsman. And for anybody who is curious, I did buy this myself. One minor gripe due to the fact that this is made of a polymer handle frame was a lot of people said that the grip wasn't very comfortable. So I took a few steps and with like a dollar fifty mod I use some hockey grip tape and wrap the handle and I can tell you the handle is so much better now but it is essentially an axe head which I will showcase that it's one heck of a cutter then it has a mallet end and this is made of ABS plastic this is not metal so this is not gonna be something you build a shelter with this is just for like pounding 10 stakes and you can see after um, me pounding several stakes there's a little bit of wear on it but it's holding up very well overall then here's the 10 stake puller and inside the handle are where the saw blades are now I don't want to dive too deep into this so we are gonna go ahead and jump to my outdoor testing eclipse where I explain the rest of the function of this tool Now, as you guys can see, there's just a little bit of abrasion from tapping in the tin stakes. Um, the hammer does hold up well, but like I said from the tabletop, it is full ABS plastic, so this is not gonna be a hammer to build a shelter or anything with. This is literally just for tin stakes. All right, so this is the tin stake puller. It's a little loop. It's what tightens everything down in the back of the handle. Does the job. Now, I have not used this axe head yet. This is still fresh from the out of the factory. So we're gonna test the edge sharpness of it. Oh, wow. So yeah, this is a sharp edge, especially for an axe. Yeah, that's a slicer. It does bite in really, really well, I promise. And just so you can see that, it bites in really deep. Show you how the saw portion works. So you actually take it out, and one of the saw blades come out. Now, so I get less rattle, I'm gonna take both of them out. Spring one here. And you'll take the sheath, pop it in like so. Until it's connected just like this now you're gonna take the saw blade and gonna loop the last hole the last one and then you're gonna match it up with this last hole you're gonna close this one down secure it then over here you're hooking it right into this spot right here and you're going to let it get tension and you're gonna lock it in place and then you have your saw function and this is the handle
There we go. I apologize for it taking so long. This log was, I mean, only twice this long. It was, it wasn't enough weight to keep it still. But look how clean that cut. It's beautiful. Now this is a big tree. It's about 23 inches in diameter. I'm not gonna be able to fell it, but I will take a few wax into it and show you this is a really good cutter. It bites in really, really deep into that wood. Look at that. Just a couple of wax and it was biting in really nicely. So a four to six inch diameter tree, you could fell it in a heartbeat. Those couple of wax I did, I know is not good enough for you guys. So I am at my buddy's house. We're doing some heat treating today, but that's not the point of the video. We're gonna do some gratuitous chopping on this uh, two by four. As you can see, it did break off at the end, but I got pretty far through before it finally broke. And the actual chops on it were nice and clean. Like I said, this is not a felling ax. This is a small hatchet. It's like a cutter. Like I said, you saw how sharp it was. It still has a pretty good edge on it. But uh, actually, let's do that. We're gonna go and test the edge with some paper real quick and see how the edge is just after a little bit of work. But you can still see there's still parts of that it's still slicing it's not bad at all yeah see i mean it was still still a very workable axe with well i hope you guys enjoyed that test footage i try to give you basically the meat and potatoes of this tool and how it's supposed to be used my overall conclusions is i like it uh due to the fact that you can get this on amazon for like 55 bucks which is really cheap actually considering you get a saw a mallet a 10 stake puller and a hatchet all rolled into one instead of having to do something like this and have to carry a package similar to this with three separate tools. Now I know there will be some of you down in the comments who would prefer having three separate tools, but there are plenty of us who would prefer to have it all, if they can make it functional and make it work, take all of this and cram it into one. Finally, overall, I really like the tool. If I have a gripe about it, I would say that it does get a little noisy when the saw blades are in the handle. Now, if you are going to be processing wood and going to be sawing and going to be doing hatchet work and splitting and doing some minor things like that, my suggestion if the noise is going to bother you, go ahead and take the saw blades out. I did that and as soon as I did that, the headache went away. It wasn't a headache, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. But um, some people have griped as they were worried about the longevity of the cover of this however I haven't had a problem with it so far I've had this for a couple weeks and it's worked really well uh, I keep bringing it to different friends house I've let my friend James try it my friend Tobin seen it and they like it they've used it I've used it and so far we don't have an issue I haven't seen any warps or deformations or splitting or bending or any folds so there's been no structural integrity degradation at all but um so I can definitely, this is a tool I can definitely recommend if you are going to use it for an intended, its intended purpose. This is not designed to replace felling axes and things like that. It is a good camp tool for camping. Uh, if you're going to be doing some very small minor tree felling, some brush clearing, you're going to be setting up and tearing down your stake, uh, your tent, things like that. That's what it's used for. But that just about does it for now, guys. Definitely throw a big thumbs up to this video if this is the kind of content and gear reviews you guys want to see. Also, down in the description box, I'm going to throw a bunch of Amazon links to all of the gear that I have showcased, mentioned, and tested today. And the awesome thing about that is it doesn't raise your end user prices, but it helps support our channel and helps us keep doing what we're doing. And I can tell you guys, you have no idea 
how much that actually supports us and our journey and the things we're trying to do. But uh, that's about it. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.